What's going on y'all? It's Landon with Aqualux Auto Detailing. Happy Monday to y'all. Hope you're having a great Monday. Alright, so today we got us engine bay detailing. I am in the Dallas Paint Correction Facebook group and I had a few people ask me when I showed a picture of a Honda Civic engine detail I did the other day, what did I use? Well, I actually used super clean, about four ounces in a foam cannon a lot of people wondering hey can you do this can you do that i was like look there's a lot of ways you can clean an engine there's another way i use it's with the rinseless wash it just depends how hammered the engine is when i'm gonna move this tripod really quick and kind of bring y'all in this this engine is pretty darn dusty i don't know if i would say i would go to this extent you can see how dusty it is right there for this engine detail but I just wanted to show some of the people that asked me hey how do you do it well this is gonna be pretty much you know the video on how to and how I do it with super clean there is another option I use and it is a super clean aerosol I hope y'all are getting a good view of how just dusty and it just needs a little love right I think every engine needs a little love every now and then so we're gonna focus on this part mainly right here, and I'm gonna set y'all back down. Whoa, forgive me, hold on. Let me get y'all stable. There we go. Okay, so, and then uh, once that levels out, there we go. All right, so, I'm gonna hit this with, so how I normally do this, see if I can get in the camera view. So how I normally do this is I will, I will blow this off with air. There's two different tools I can use. Um, if y'all don't have one of these, these are the X-Power blower. It's like 50 bucks on Amazon. I think I picked this one up. I want to say it was like 45 bucks maybe. Maybe I got it. I think I got it on sale. Sometimes you'll find them used for like 30, 35 dollars. I think it's a I think it's a great little thing. It's got two little settings here. You may have seen me talk about this before. It's got two settings, heat, it's got a filter in the bottom. Awesome little tool. But today I am gonna be spoiling myself and I'm gonna be using compressed air. So we're gonna take compressed air, blow off a lot of the dust really quick, and then I'm gonna hit up the foam cannon. I got a few brushes I use, so, you know, nothing crazy, but a few detail brushes, all right? So, and I'm vertically challenged, so if y'all can imagine a Toyota Sequoia and me, I'm 5'7". Well, guess what? I have to have a stool because I'm short. I'm not tall like Chelsea at attention to detail. She's been blessed for to be 5'11", 6 foot. Love you, Chelsea. You're awesome. Love your channel, girl. Anyways, so, I have to use a stool. So what? All right? So you got to make it happen, make it happen. Do whatever you got to do. So... I'm going to do the steps I told y'all, and I'm going to get right to it. Alright, here we go! Alright, my air compressor is going to kick on, forgive the background noise. So. Um, one thing I will say keep in mind when you're doing these, I know different chemicals can be caustic and harder and then you don't want to let them dry. I actually got a cloud right above me so I'm actually really blessed to have that right now. I'm trying to talk over that darn air compressor. It's not that loud but I don't know how the audio quality is all the time. So I actually did a Mercedes about two weeks ago and it actually had a bi turbo. You have to forgive me, I'm not always mechanically inclined. It was an E550, it had two turbos in it, and I did a rinseless wash on it, but I took, stuck two rags right where, uh, microfiber towels, right where the air would be going in, sucked in and converted and all that stuff, just to make sure I didn't even get any of that rinseless solution. On this, everything's pretty much covered up. I do know on a Toyota Sequoia, you do have this, and it's extremely dusty under here. I, I wish... Well, I can show y'all, but I'm not going to bore y'all with it. I'm just going to hit this top, and then you're just going to see how this goes. So now I'm going to foam it and agitate. And there is a step I do in between, and I'll show y'all really quick. But this is four ounces, like I said. Four ounces of super clean. Filled all the way up with water. And I'm using, I will tell you, I'm using my Comet um, pressure washer. And that's all the special equipment I've been using today. <laughs> Something I do periodically while I am 
while I am letting this stuff sit for a second, if it was in direct sunlight, I'd be misting this frequently, so you may hear this go on about every 30 seconds or so, just to keep it from drying. That's not something I want with this, all right? Let me get my stool, I'm too darn short. I already can't reach everything back there. All right, so, and this is not gonna be the most perfect video. This is more for instructional purposes only. I'm gonna be hitting the big areas and just showing y'all kind of how I go about this. And normally I would get that long one. I would definitely be getting back, you know, in here, all the way down these crevices, but I don't want to keep the videos too long. I don't like to lose y'all's attention. And you're gonna see just, <laughs> oh, I get all that, oh yeah. Woo, baby. Gotta love me some super clean. And so anyways, just gonna hit all the big parts, all right? And then, oh, I may switch it up. Actually, this is a, uh, yeah, love these brushes. These are Dallas Paint Direction Luxury Microfiber Detail Brushes. Definitely been getting a lot of use out of them. So, I'm just going to keep scrubbing around just a little bit more. And I actually can see it kind of drying, so I'm going to miss some water on it really quick. I don't want this stuff drying on me at all. It is caustic. I do love super clean, but you got to keep in mind, you know, what chemicals are you using? And, you know, the better you know them and the conditions you're in, it's like 97 degrees today. So that's something I have to keep in mind, all right? So you don't want this stuff drying. I don't think you'd want a lot of chemicals drying on any of this anyways, just because it's just not good for the plastics. And then we're gonna dress this really quick. All right, so y'all can kind of get the idea, all right? I'm not going for perfection. This is more for instructional purposes and to show y'all exactly just kind of, you know, it gets the job done. All right, so now we're gonna stop there and I'm just gonna rinse it off, all right? Here we go. Gonna hit it with some compressed air and then we'll dress it up and I'll bring y'all in, alright? Right before I dress it up, just so y'all can see. Alright, here we go with some compressed air. Gonna show y'all really quick and then I will bring y'all back and set you down. We're almost at 10 minutes. I don't like making these more longer than 10 minutes, all right? So you can see, it's definitely knocked a lot of the dirt off. Like I said, I was not going for perfection. Okay, I'll let y'all take a peek. Okay, yeah, I know I got some dirt over here. Okay, so what, all right? Told you, this is instructional. But for the most part, you can see, it, it really did, you know, really did. Whoa, hello. Knock the dirt off, okay? And that's what we were going for. We just wanted to knock the light, light dirt off and I just wanted to show you all instructional purposes. All right, and then... Next, I am going to use... Yes, it is a DPC product, so I'm sorry. Armor, I'm actually gonna use it 100%, all right? And I'll just gonna hit that area, this area, a couple of those areas, and just show you what it looks like dressed, and we'll call it a day on this, all right? Shake the stuff up really good. I love the smell of this stuff. It's like, I think it's like bubble gum. I don't know. It's, it smells really good. Maybe a little too much, but that's all right. You know, no 
hoping to brighten this up a little bit, you know? Everybody likes a clean engine. You'll be able to tell how much this stuff is kind of just kind of giving it a little more richness, I guess is a good way to put it, you know? I'll even kind of leave some of this uh, as 50-50 shots, maybe when I show you all the, the after. Alright, let me get my handy dandy spool because I'm short. Gotta love being a short person, right? If any of y'all are vertically challenged like me, you know what I'm talking about. There's some... <laughs> The bigger vehicles are a little bit of a challenge, aren't they? You know, sometimes it just is what it is, and you got to make the best of what you got, you know? And that's kind of how I was brought up in the Marine Corps, you know? Just improvise, adapt, and overcome. Rah, baby, rah! All right, here we go. Let's get a little bit more. I'm going to hit this, maybe that, a little bit of there. I don't know. I don't overthink it. And we'll save that for a 50-50 shot. I'll leave that. That'll be good. All right, who knows? I don't know. Just kind of buff it off. And wipe it on. And man, it already looks 10 times better. And I really didn't put that much into it. So, I don't know. Engine bay details can be, you know, can be pretty dirty. But, you know, you just gotta, you know, feel the moment. Play the moment. Make the best of the card, you, the hand you were dealt with, the cards you got. And, you know, go from there. And a lot of that is just, you know, how I attack a lot of detail. I just. Go in the moment and do what I think needs to be done the best I can for the customer and give them the best value as possible and over deliver as much as possible. Alright. That. That. Okay. Alright, we'll call it good. And I'll leave the 50 50 right there and I'll show you all the rest. It's not perfect, folks. No. I'm already probably at like 12 minutes and I don't want to make this any longer. So thank you for your patience. See you right at 12 minutes. Alright, there we go. So. Air intake right there, right? Yeah, air filters in there. We got the engine, all right. And then let me bring y'all in. Whoa, okay. So here's the 50 50. Here's the radiator, right? Armor right here, no armor. Big difference, right? Okay. And then we got the fuse box right here. That looks a way better, right? Put a little armor on this, but 10 times better, right? From like, you know, what we were at, okay? So that's a little bit of, you know, I want to say it's you have to do engine detailing this way but it's something I do and I it's just it's just that I go in the moment and make the best of what I can so thank y'all for tuning in appreciate y'all and real quick before I forget I do have a Facebook page business page is Aqualux Auto Detailing it's actually in the link I guess it would be on my page to the right and my website it actually has prices on my website and everything I just got done doing that designing that and everything last week so um, if y'all want to stop by and check it out and give me a thumbs up something you like about this or thumbs down. Hey, this is not what I would do. You are too crazy. You are too way out there. You talk way too much and you have way too much energy. Wouldn't be the first time I hear it. That's okay too. And tell me, drop drop down here. Give me some ideas what you, how, what are ways you guys clean it, you know? This is not the only way. This is just something I do to make my life easier and speed the process up. So sometimes speed is key and being more profitable. But I wanted to tell you all about a live video I did yesterday. It's for the moms. If anybody y'all know moms in the Dallas Fort Worth area I want to extend a free interior detail to y'all it's like a 250 300 dollar what I would charge so that's the the value of it but it's summertime and a lot of moms are actually having to work more or harder and my wife she works 365 24 7 she's a rock star she's superwoman she does things I can't even keep up with and there's a lot of moms out there. I, I don't care. Grandma, mom, whoever. You got kids and you're a mom. This is for you. If you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, go like that video and just tag somebody that you know may deserve it. And if y'all can, just subscribe to the channel. That'd be great. But that's not me asking. That's just something I did from the video I asked people to do. Um, and that would be it. So I just want to extend that out to y'all because a lot of the moms are having to work harder because school's out and... They don't catch a break. So maybe this could be a way I can bless somebody else the way um, I've been blessed and just help somebody out in the summertime. So I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Sorry this has turned into almost 15 minute video, but y'all are awesome. I'm, I am overwhelmed by the support I'm receiving and I'm gonna keep trying to bust some more of these out. I am gonna be um, away on business for the next three weeks. So there probably will not be anything after 
Um, maybe this video or another video I'm doing. I'm trying to get some more out for y'all, but um, I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll catch y'all later.